Meanwhile, South Africa has received its first dose of COVID-19 vaccines. One million doses of AstraZeneca produced by the Serum Institute of India arrived via an airplane to Johannesburg. The boosting efforts to curb a second wave of COVID-19 driven by a more contagious variant. President Cyril Ramaphosa and other top officials were present at the airport. The shots will be checked over roughly 10 to 14 days before inoculations begin. We have to date secured one billion vaccines for the entire continent. 700 million of these will come through the global COVAX facility and 300 million have been facilitated by the African Vaccine Acquisition Task Team. Nobody will be forced to take this vaccine. I want to repeat, nobody will be forced to take this vaccine. Now, the president also took to Twitter celebrating the historic day, but some scientists and health workers have publicly criticized the government for not securing access to vaccines sooner. The World Health Organization has said that 90% of COVID jabs are being administered in high-income nations, due to which lower or middle-income nations are facing the brunt. Uh, of the um, more than 40 million vaccinations that have happened, uh, no, over 90% are happening in countries that we classify as high-income countries. When you get to the low-income countries or the lower-middle-income countries, that's the people with the least resources, we've only seen it happening in two countries. So there is a lot of catch-up to be done, and we've got countries with very, very serious outbreaks like South Africa that we need to see the vaccination start in. Now, the South African officials say that the country has secured more than 50 million vaccine doses. This will be enough to inoculate nearly about two-thirds of the country's population. Another announcement made by the South African president came as a bit of a relief for many. He said that the country had passed the peak of its second coronavirus infection wave, allowing some easing of restrictions. Restrictions on the sale of alcohol will be eased. The sale of alcohol by licensed premises for off-site consumption will be permitted from Mondays to Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we also earlier spoke with our South African correspondent, Calden Ong Mu, who sent us this report from Johannesburg. Listen. Much-awaited first batch of one million doses of COVID-19 vaccine has arrived in South Africa from India. The first phase of this rollout program will prioritize around 1.2 million frontline healthcare workers. According to Health Minister Zueli Makize, this batch of vaccine will, however, go through technical processes, including quality assurances and stock reconciliation. It will take over 10 to 14 days before getting distributed to provinces. This is Kaldan Ongmo from Johannesburg, South Africa. For Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.